Climate change is bringing more extreme fire weather to many parts of the world, and this is driving wildfires like we've never seen before. The 2019 20 fires in Australia burnt 10.3 million hectares, including the largest area burnt at high severity on record. Gondwan and rainforest burnt, and massive fire generated storms erupted. Scientists predicted the fires would have catastrophic impacts on biodiversity. And so loads of ecologists bashed their way out to the field to find out what happened to our plants and animals. We've brought together much of that research effort into a data set that includes over 2,200 taxa covering plants, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, insects, and snails. We found that the impacts of wildfire on plant and animal responses depended on pre-fire drought, fire frequency, and when a site was previously burnt, whether the site was a protected area or not, the extent of unburnt area, and fire severity. When sites were least disturbed, the 2019-20 fires had the smallest impacts. So when rainfall had been higher, the site hadn't been burnt often or recently, it was in a protected area, much of the surrounding land was unburnt, or fire severity was low, we found some species declined and others increased, but not by very much. On the other hand, if drought was extreme before the fire, if fire frequency was high or fires were recent, if much of the surrounding land was not in a conservation reserve, if extensive areas around the site had been burnt, or if the 2019-20 fire burnt at high severity, then responses were larger. We saw both larger declines and larger increases. Across the data set, 44% of responses to the fire were to increase, while 55% were declines. Because climate change is bringing more wildfire, the species that increase after fire will be doing well over the coming years. But because unburnt areas are becoming rarer, it's the decreases that are of conservation concern. Among these influential factors, fire frequency and interval had the strongest effects. If there had been one or no fires in the 40 years before the 2019-20 fires, species abundance or occurrence dropped by 12% on average. But if there had been two fires, plants and animals declined by 17%, and if there were three or more previous fires, they declined by an average of 23%. We saw similar declines with the time since the last fire. If a site was burnt more than 10 years ago, the average decline was 10 or 11%. But if the site had burnt recently, in the past 10 years, the decline was almost twice as big. This means areas burnt recently and those burnt two or more times in the past 40 years need extra protection from fire. To do this, we'll have to increase investment in rapid wildfire suppression, alongside increased indigenous burning that puts the right fire into the right ecosystems. And we'll have to judiciously use prescribed fire so that it doesn't increase the area that's frequently burnt. Climate change caused by our carbon emissions is driving more frequent and larger megafires. So one way you can help is to reduce your carbon footprint and tell your government you support a rapid end to burning fossil fuels.